Hi, I'm Joe Adalian for Television Week, and I'm outside Lincoln Center where ABC has just concluded its Upfront presentation for 2008. Um, this was really the first real presentation of Upfront Week here in New York, uh, because yesterday NBC presented sort of what was like an NBC experience that didn't really present shows and it wasn't really focused on NBC. So now ABC was in the game, uh, and they really presented a fall schedule for 2008 that looked a whole lot like their fall schedule for 2007. Uh, three nights are coming back completely intact. There are just minor changes in the other four nights. Uh, Wednesday night's coming back completely the same with Dirty Sexy Money, Private Practice, um, and Pushing Daisies. And ABC is betting that the strength that they showed last fall can repeat itself in 2008. It's a big bet, but it probably makes as much sense as any other bet out there. A lot of other networks are putting on shows that haven't had a lot of time to be developed. Um, ABC is sticking with the tried and true and hoping that advertisers will respond to what they know. And it's a pretty good bet. After all, advertisers like stability, and there's no doubt that this year's ABC schedule presentation was the absolute picture of stability. Now, usually, new shows that uh, get greenlit for series on networks have to worry about competing against other new shows on the network. They have to uh, compete for attention. Well, this year, Life on Mars is going to be very lucky. It's the only new drama that ABC plans to air this fall. They're not even airing a new comedy in the fall. And what this means is that uh, ABC is going to focus the bulk of its attention on getting people to Life on Mars. Um, ABC really loves this show. Uh, they fought very hard to get it. They even gave Boston Legal another season when they wanted to cancel it in order to get Life on Mars. They're bringing in some new showrunners. They're going to tweak some scenes, add some cast members, take away some cast members. But this is a really innovative show that seems just like the kind of shows that work on ABC. It sort of takes an established uh, genre, a cop procedural, and turns it on its nose.